Okay, so a lot of people, obviously, well, no one can go to the game, but people <laughs> might still want to watch maybe outside, uh -huh. maybe a TV, maybe a projector. What's right? it going to be like? I'm telling you, if you and the family want to, like, turn the TV to aim outside, exactly. you can sit outside in the backyard, watch the game, have some popcorn, maybe make some hot dogs. Do it all upright, and it does look like it's going to be beautiful weather to do that, too. We're going to start a little humid with patchy fog around in the morning. That's thanks to the rain that we picked up today. Temperatures are going to be in the 60s to start. 80s as we get into the afternoon, mostly sunny skies, very seasonable, actually. A northerly wind is blowing into northeast Ohio that is just fine. This is a different wind than we've had over the past couple of days. Temperatures are currently in the low 70s, a couple upper 60s showing up, but the more important temperature is the dew point temperature. Earlier today, yesterday, we're talking about everybody with 70 plus degree dew points, a dramatic sh change, a shift from north to south with 71 still hanging out in Dover, but the rest of us now getting back down into the 60s. And as we go through the night very slowly, we'll see those humidity levels coming down just a little bit. Remember, right along the lakeshore, especially, we've got that marine layer, so the fog may th uh, stick around. Here's a look at the radar for us right now. And if you're down in Tuscarawas or Carroll counties, you may be seeing some lightning flashes to your south. That is all gone. It's all by you. You don't have to worry about any of that rain uh, anymore is because all of it is going to be moving outbound. Notice that the general shift is that everything is moving east southeast. We have high pressure to the north. That's why we've uh, seen our winds change around a little bit. And there may be a random couple of showers that are lingering as we start the day tomorrow. But I think for the most part, the big trend is that the dry air gets in here and that helps us out a lot. Here's your National Design Mart hour by hour forecast. We're going to fade back into the 60s across northeast Ohio as we head through the night. Partly cloudy skies will be the rule. A little fog is possible. By noon, we'll be up around the 80 degree mark with mostly sunny conditions. You can see the few little random shower chances. I think all of that stays east of us with maybe a 10 to 15 percent chance of a shower popping up. But look at this, 3 o'clock in the afternoon, temperatures in the low 80s, a little cooler along the lakeshore. By the time we hit evening, I think we're going to be sailing home free. And look at that, gorgeous for the Tribe game downtown Cleveland. I think our uh, temperature at the start of the game should be right around 80. Take a look at that in a minute. And we may have a few little pockets of fog that's set up for us again Saturday night. Now, uh, as for tomorrow, 710 start, 80 degrees, mostly sunny. Things are looking fantastic as the drive gets off to this shortened season. I have to tell you, if we make it to 83 degrees in Cleveland as the high temperature tomorrow, that will be the warmest home opener that we have had since 1902. There's a couple different things that you have to keep in mind with that 190 statistic. First of all, we weren't the Cleveland Indians. Second of all, they didn't even have any games in Cleveland. They were completely on the road. I had to search and search and search for the schedule. So it's an interesting one. They were called the Cleveland Broncos way back when, and they had the hot one but now we may encompass that. All right, with an asterisk, of course. Universal Windows Direct Forecast clearing out for the home opener. Look at the beautiful weather setting up for the weekend. Plenty of sunshine. Temperatures bouncing back through the 80s into the 90s. Not sticking around long this time, though. We will have some cooler, more seasonable weather by the middle to end of next week. Laura? All right, Betsy. Thanks so much.